Hello, in this video, we're going to be talking about words associated with breaking down or breaking apart molecules. Let's not waste any of your time. Let's get right to it. Now, just like when we spoke about building molecules, uh, breaking molecules apart, releasing that energy is obviously a, a big part of what we're going to be talking about. Uh, chapter 7, Cellular Respiration, is an entire chapter devoted to that process of breaking down molecules, just like chapter 8 is devoted to building uh, molecules. But the thing to think about, or we're going to really showcase, is that it isn't just one or the other. Okay, These are happening simultaneously. If we're going to build a molecule, we're also going to be breaking apart a molecule. Uh, for one, it might be components. Uh, but secondly, and more importantly, the energy that's released uh, when we break apart a molecule, a part of that energy is used to build the next molecule. And then that one eventually will get broken down to help build another molecule. So these, one of the things that we'll see, especially in class, we'll emphasize this a bunch, is that these are happening simultaneously. It's not one or the other, okay, but they are, they are a tandem. Uh, just like when we saw uh, coupled reactions, uh, coupled uh, pathways, that kind of stuff. Uh, that's, so that is one of the main uh, points that we're going to be emphasizing is that it's a tandem. Uh, it isn't just one or the other. Uh, but if we're breaking apart molecules, uh, the number one thing to remember is hydrolysis is the process in which that happens. It's the idea of a water molecule coming in, especially carbohydrates and lipids. The water molecule comes in and essentially you can think of it as dissolving the bond. And then one of the H's and one of the O, or the o goes to one to form one bonding site. And then the other H uh, bonds with the the oxygen that's there uh, to form the other OH bonding pair and essentially then you go from either a disaccharide to a monosaccharide or a polysaccharide into two disaccharides you know in something of that manner where something is big and now it's broken apart into something that is smaller and this is done uh, in a catabolic pathway uh, and again, an enzyme is involved in that pathway. Uh, but again, we'll look at, when we get to enzymes, the two enzyme videos, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, we'll be looking at how those enzymes use hydrolysis to break things apart. And when they're broken apart, one of the things that we're really going to emphasize is that exponential release of power, not power, energy, uh, just like that firecracker releases uh, all that energy um, much more than what was, what was used to put into uh, the, the uh, molecule. And when that happens, that energy that's released now is in motion. Okay, and it's in motion as far as uh, kinetic energy, kinetic uh, motion uh, of the molecule itself. And the idea of extragonic reaction. Okay, now we're taking a product, the molecule, and breaking it apart, releasing energy. And, it, and if you were in a chemistry class, uh, like Miss Branham's class, and you performed an extragonic reaction, like in a beaker or something, some of the ways that you would see that energy being released is you might see steam or heat, uh, fizzing. Um, you know, something something visually that you could see that uh, kinetic energy is, is going on, or an extragonic reaction is occurring, and kinetic energy is being released. When we're talking uh, breaking apart molecules, we're talking about oxidizing the molecule. 
In other words, we're going to be removing parts of that molecule, uh, oxidate it. Uh, and of course, cellular respiration is a, that's a big example of that. The redox reaction that we're going to be talking about, it's got its own video, but it's going to really emphasize that point is point of when one molecule is being built, another one is being broken down. Uh, we'll introduce our electron carriers, uh, NAD and FAD. Um, those are huge parts um, of uh, chapter, si chapter 7 and chapter 8 as they take uh, the electron to the electron transport chain. But uh, a lot coming up in these three chapters, and I love talking about this stuff in these three chapters. Uh, but it is a, as we've been talking about, it's a year-long build uh, as far as information to get us through the energy chapter. And every chapter is dependent on the one before it and builds on uh, what we've got going on. So uh, we've, we've been saying all year, all semester, that we're going to talk about these terms. And that's going to go down to the very end. Um, uh, just as we promised. All right, so that is our video over words associated with breaking down molecules. When we come back next time, we're going to be talking about extragonic reactions. So we'll see you then.